Hi guys, welcome back, Steve Cal Clash Fitness. Now, today we're going to be talking about how to get the most out of your training. The video is called How Not To Be A Pussy 101 and this is based on my observations of most people that work out, whether it's going to the gym, martial arts, triathlon, you know, whatever it might be, hockey, football, soccer, whatever you want to call it. People get stuck in this rut of me mediocrity, you know, they come in, they, they go for a, a shuffle jog or whatever, you know, they've never got out of that habit of just shuffling along like this and barely moving their feet, barely moving anywhere, crap technique. They think that's acceptable as long as they're getting out there and doing something. And while that is true, if you have any modicum of um, ambition or improvement or weight loss or increased strength or whatever it might be, you need to push yourself harder than anyone else in the gym. You need to be willing to suffer more than the other person that's running with you, the other people out there running. If you spot someone, you know, a couple of, couple of metres ahead, you should, you should try and catch them up, okay? Everything when training is mental, okay? It's not physical. Your limitations on pushing yourself as hard as you need to go in order to improve whatever your goal is all up here. It's all mental, okay? And that's what it comes down to. And that's what I mean by not being a pussy. Okay, so most people, they go out there, as soon as it becomes a little bit hard, they'll stop. Whether it's another rep in the gym, whether it's another mile, whether it's increasing that tempo so that you're running a bit faster, whatever it might be, people give up as soon as it gets hard. And that is your brain telling your body to stop. It's not your body telling your brain to stop, it's the other way around. So when you hear that voice up here in your head that's telling you, I'm tired, I'm fatigued, I need to stop, I need to slow down, you need another voice up there that's saying, shut the fuck up and fucking run harder. You need to punish that voice in your head that's saying, slow down, I'm tired, I've had enough, I can't do another rep, I can't do that extra mile, I can't speed up. You need another voice in there that's going to say, shut the fuck up and you're going to fucking dig deep and you're going to run harder, faster and you're going to fucking teach it a lesson. And by doing that, you're pushing yourself that extra little bit that's going to really help increase your fitness. And then next time you go out, you're going to do the same thing and the next time you're going to do the same thing and then all of a sudden that extra mile or that extra rep becomes normality to you it becomes easy and then you push yourself for that extra mile or that extra rep whatever it might be you pushing yourself harder mentally will push yourself physically okay and there's a lot of sayings out there like the, the uh, flesh is strong but the mind is weak and go hard and go home and no pain no gain and all of these sayings that all 100% accurate, but most people that say them, just say them. So they'll go out there, they'll, they'll say these sayings, no pain, no gain, go hard or go home, blah, 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 blah. Then they'll go in there, do a couple of reps or, you know, shuffle along for a couple of miles, come home. They haven't fucking pushed themselves. They don't know the meaning of the word suffering, you know. You haven't worked out unless you, you know, you've pushed yourself. Now and again, not, every, not all the time, unless you feel sick or you've been physically sick during a workout, that's how you know you've pushed yourself, you know, I'm not recommending this at all, but I've coughed up blood after really pushing myself on a 5k, that was probably a little bit too extreme, but it shows that mentality of tapping in and really digging deep, you know, I've, um, I've pushed myself so hard that I've started to lose my vision, all these kinds, types of things, and you know, maybe that is pushing myself a little bit too far, but it underlines how far I'm willing to go mentally to push myself physically, okay, so you are not going to achieve anything unless your mind is a hundred percent focused it's locked down and it's ready for war every time no matter what your motivation you need to go out there and you need to be willing to crush whoever else is out there running you need to be able to have that mentality to crush whoever else is in the gym everyone's your competitor you're your own competitor you need to beat yourself you need to beat other people and you need to improve by pushing yourself mentally and pushing yourself physically and a, a really good quote that i like for anyone that follows mma um, may have heard this already, but Chael Sonnen uh, came up with a, with a quote that really spoke to me actually. He said, um, he said, now let me get this, get this right and do it justice. He said, a lot of people say failure is not an option, but those people are weak. So those people actually believe that failure is not an option. Failure is an option and it's the most readily available option at every given time. Uh, corner every given opportunity failure is always there failure is always an option but it's a choice 
Okay, it's a mental choice and you mentally choose to fail. You mentally choose to give up. You mentally choose to stop running. You mentally choose to turn your bike around and come home. You mentally choose not to do that extra rep. You mentally choose not to add more weight to the bar. You mentally choose not to do the extra lengths in the pool or to swim faster, run harder, cycle harder, whatever it might be. You're choosing to fail, okay? Mentally, you are choosing to fail. As soon as that voice comes into your head that says, I'm getting tired, I'm getting fatigued, you need to make a choice. Do you continue? Do you go harder? Or do you quit? Do you give up? And that's when you fail, okay? The only time you can ever fail is when you choose to fail. A true champion can, can lose, but not fail. In fact, in losing, a champion can, can, can actually get the greatest win of, of his or her career, you know, if it's if it's a boxing match or or whatever it might be, if if a champion loses but they've gone out there, they've given it their all, they've fought hard, they've 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 been had their back on the ropes, they've been getting beat down, but they come out swinging, they come out fighting, they just never give up, they keep getting up, they keep going, and eventually they lose. That is a win. That is not that is that is not them quitting. That is fighting through adversity, and that is that is winning. Whether or not. You know, you get a W on, or an L on your scorecard. If you don't give up, if you continue going through adversity, if you push yourself through those barriers, that is a win. It doesn't matter what the result, that is a win. And uh, uh, something that John Paul Sigmundson said, once said when he lost the uh, World's Strongest Man title to Jamie Reeves, I think it was in, it was in the late 80s, could be in 87. Jamie Reeves beat him and, and John Paul Sigmundson was the favourite. He's in my opinion, the, the strongest, most charismatic strongman um, in the world. Massive inspiration to me, I visited his grave in Iceland. Jamie Reeves beats him, and when, when being interviewed by the, by, the, by the broadcaster, he asked him, how does he feel? And he says, it is an honor to lose against such a great champion. Okay, and that, that is, is sort of him saying, okay, he's lost this round, and then he comes back and says, but next year, he's coming back stronger and he's gonna get his title back. So he admits defeat, he admits he's lost to the better man, but he gave it his all and he's gonna work fucking hard for the rest of the year and he's gonna come back and he is going to absolutely crush Jamie Reeves for the next year, okay? That's the mentality of a winner, okay? Win or lose, you're still a winner up here if you, if you can admit defeat, but you fucking worked hard, you gave it your all and then you pick yourself back up and you fight for next year. No matter what your sport, no matter what your motivation, up here you need to be mentally strong in order to keep going, okay? Whether it's just for weight loss, general fitness, or whether you're training for a competitive sport, it all starts up here. The flesh is strong, but the mind is weak, and you need to fucking train that up here to get the rest of it strong, okay? Guys, don't forget, watch my other videos, subscribe down below, keep working, keep eating clean, okay? Let's do this together.